potential V right now what how do you define electric potential V due to a charge Q which is the distance of R from the charge say you have point to P which is the distance of say R from the charge how do you define electric potential V at this point to P electric potential at a point to P due to a charge Q which is a distance of R from the charge can be defined as the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to this point to P against the applied force that means if there is a unit positive charge at infinity whether it is a unit positive charge or small test charge since it is a positive charge there exists some repulsive force between these two charges right and if you start moving this charge towards the charge Q as the distance between the charges decreases what happens to the force force increases repulsive force increases since the repulsive force increases so this charge tries to move away from charge Q despite the increase in the force you are still trying to bring it close to this charge Q so this is a work done against the force right so it is work done on the system by some external agency so the amount of work done in moving this unit positive charge from infinity to this point P against the applied force is nothing but potential at this point P due to a charge Q which is a distance of R from the charge now let's try to get the mathematical model for potential instead of getting a unit positive charge from infinity let's get a small test charge delta Q so if you are trying to get a small test charge delta Q from infinity to this point to P what will be the repulsive force between these two charges a repulsive force would be FR is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q delta Q by R square in general let's take small r as the as the displacement or the distance between these two charges q1 delta q and initially if the distance is r then you know this is the force and because of this force there is some displacement between the charges so we could denote it with ds as the displacement now get it somewhat close to this charge q again there would be some force and displacement pull it somewhat close to this charge Q again there will be some force and there will be some displacement and how, how do you find out work done so DW can be found out as FR this is if you take the vector from the force so it is FR dot DS and if you know the vector right and then how will you find out the total work done the total work done would be equal to if since we are interested only in the magnitude and work is is is, is nothing but your uh, is, is a scalar quantity so the total work done would be equal to what the total work done would be equal to integral infinity to capital R EFR dot TS is this correct no, we are missing something here. What is that? It is minus. Why is this minus? That is because this is a work done against the force. There is a repulsive force between these charges, and the work is done against the repulsive force. So, work done is equal to minus integral infinity to capital R, FR dot DSR. You can take it as FR dot DR for simplicity. FR dot DR, where DR can be considered as a displacement uh, displacement vector so finally this would result in what minus integral infinity to capital R this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q delta Q by R square dr and if integrated you will get it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q delta Q by capital R take delta Q to the other side then you get it as W by delta Q is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q by capital R. Now, if you put delta Q as a unit positive charge, if you put delta Q as a unit positive charge, what happens to the work done? The moment you put delta Q as a unit positive charge, this work done is referred to as potential, electric potential denoted as 
V. So, electric potential can also be defined as work per unit charge at that point P, W by 1. Can you see this? Potential can also be defined as work per unit charge at that point P and mathematically it can be calculated as 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q by capital R. You don't see any R cap here which also confirms that pot electric potential is a scalar quantity. Unlike electric field strength which is a vector quantity, electric potential is a scalar quantity. So this is one way of finding out potential at a point P due to a charge Q which is a distance of capital R where capital R is a radial distance or it can if it is considered as a scalar distance then we can use this formula to get the answer. Often this capital R is not a scalar distance it can represent uh, the vector uh, vector vector uh, uh, distance between these two charges or it could be the representation of the location of the point in space then we have a different way of finding out potential V at this point to P uh, when, when it is at some distance from this charge Q. Let's see how to find out potential in that case. So we are again considering the case of electric charge Q. In the vicinity of this charge Q there is some field present and there is a point to P which is the distance of cap R from this charge. How do you find out electric field at this point P due to a charge Q which is the distance of R from the charge? Electric field can be found out as E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q by R square R cap. And what is the representation of DL bar in spherical coordinate system? DL bar is DR R cap plus R D theta theta cap plus r sin theta d phi phi cap right what is e bar dot dl bar e bar dot dl bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by r square dr so dot product of two vectors right multiply the corresponding components add all of them now you integrate from infinity to capital r on both sides where r is a position vector now and put a minus what would this expression result in the expression in the RHS this will be nothing but V so potential can also be found out as V is equal to integral minus infinity to capital R E dot DL this is the other way of finding out potential at a point to P due to a charge Q when the position vector is known. Look at the definition of potential. Potential is nothing but the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to capital R. And we got this minus that's because of the work done against the force applied. And capital R here is a position vector. Okay, so for simplicity it could be like 1 comma 2 comma 3 or 3 comma 4 comma 5. Okay. In the previous case we used the same notation R but that was a scalar distance. Now it is a position vector. Keep that in mind. So let us consider the case of potential difference between two points. We know that V is equal to minus integral infinity to capital R e dot dl right where r is a position vector let us consider the case of a charge q in the vicinity of the charge there is some field present let's say there are two points a and b okay at a distance of r a and r b from this charge q again r a and r b can be considered as a position vectors what will be the potential at A using the above equation? Potential at A will be equal to minus integral infinity to R A E dot DL. What will be the potential at B? V B is equal to minus integral infinity to R B E dot DL. Don't mistake E bar to be the same in both of them. 
both these cases. Electric field is not the same. Electric field is different, but we use the same form of electric field, right? So, for example, electric field can be like x u x plus y u y plus z u z volt per meter, right? So, it depends on x y and z. So, when x y and z change, then electric field changes. So, it's only the form that is the same. Don't think that electric field is the same in both these cases. It can't be the same because you are considering electric field at two different points. So, what will be the potential difference between these two points VAB under the assumption of VA greater than VB? Potential difference between the two points VAB will be equal to what? VA minus VB. So, this is minus integral infinity to RA e dot dl plus integral infinity to RB e dot dl. And if you change the upper and lower limits, so you get a minus there. So you can take the minus common that would result in minus integral RB to RA e dot DL. Okay. So the potential difference now has got a mathematical definition. VAB where VA is greater than VB as minus integral RB to RA e dot DL. So, how do you define the potential difference now? Potential difference between these two points. See, purposefully I write this equation similar to the, the equation for potential where I put a minus and then an integral of some lower limit and upper limit and e dot dl so that I want you to compare these two definitions and understand it in a better way. Like we define potential as the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to capital R. So, potential difference between the two points A and B where VA is greater than VB can be found out as the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from B to A. It is the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from B to A. If you know what is the work done in moving a charge from B to A, then you know the potential difference between two points B, A, B. Okay, so that's a difference you need to note. So, it is when someone tells you that potential difference between these two points is say 10 volts or 20 volts, then you know that the amount of work done in moving a unit power charge from B to A is is known, or uh, or you 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 know that you know how much is the work done in moving a charge from B to A and not from A to B. What would be VBA in the same case? VBA would be mathematically this would be minus integral RA to RB e dot DL. Right? So if they ask you what is the what is the potential difference between B and A, so it is the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from A to B in this case. Right? So if you start from point B and go to A and then come back to B, so it's like you formed a a closed loop in the vicinity of this charge, right? So there is some charge which which moves in this closed loop, and we can now find out what is the work done in moving a charge in moving unit positive charge from B to A and back to B. Okay. Anyway, let's come back to this point in few minutes. So is it, is this clear to you? VAB as minus integral RB to RA E dot DL very important frequently asked question in gate and IES two marks question question was asked in gate 2003 on this